Alright. So, packing up camp here at Carnarvon. Tuggy's lurking like a bear dog. <laughs> And this is the first video on my new phone, so we'll see how that works and try a new system of loading up, maybe. And just trying to work all these new buttons out. Uh, very different because it's an Android phone. It's a Motorola. Hello, Moto. Cool bananas. Packing up. Trying to go to Exmouth today. That's the mission. Okay, here we are. Now. We had a bit of an adventure, we had a bit of an incident, but it wouldn't be an EV road trip without a bit of an incident. And so what happened was the solar charger at the X-Mount turnoff was not working, it's just black and dead. Um, so, and my car said I could get there with 4%, so I chickened out and came here and um, to the roadhouse that's just past the, or just before the uh, Manila turnoff, and, um, or the charger, and I charged with 15 amp, had to pay for an overnight stay, but I've been here for I think three hours or so. Um, and we've gotten up to 65% and it says 11% that we'll get there with. Uh, also set up styling. I call it styling. So I swallowed my ethics and got one. We'll see how that goes. And I'm also using the new phone because I'm running out of memory on the other one. Um, there's the charger. This is, yeah, got the one spot with some shade in it. So we're going to persevere. Originally, I was going to turn around and just go, well, not turn around, just keep going north once I did this. But I spoke to Rob, my OG EV road trip mentor, and he suggested that I keep going. There's actually a shortcut back to the north, so that'll make it easier to get back up to the other the next charger um, up the road so it's been 40 degrees so many flies oh I took the tire off there that's another factor um, took the, the tire off there to increase the efficiency so we're all ready to go I think um, Twiggy's in here it's so hot it touched 40 degrees um, I even called the minister that's right I called the minister and complained about the charging that it was dangerous poor Twig's getting a bit hot so we will pack up and go and let's just see what we're at here with the range apparently there was a bit of a north wind this morning so we got up to 66 even my infotainment's needing cooling uh 11 on arrival so we'll just hyper mile it down the road um 12 on arrival Ooh, it came and went quickly uh 66 percent and yeah so i think i already mentioned it but it wouldn't have been Oh, excuse fingers, or it wouldn't have been a road, EV road trip without some of an adventure. And there's always plan B where you can charge here at the slow charger. Although, when it gets this hot, it's not very pleasant, but um, we'll keep going. Oh, and I'll stop by the, the dodgy charger and show that because I didn't film it when I went there initially because I was all stressed out and panicked and didn't know what was going on. So now I've regrouped, we'll stop there because it's on the way to, to, to Exmouth and we'll keep going and see how we go. So here's the offending charger, it doesn't work, all broken, cause all my trouble here. Poor pop star, we're persevering here in the super hotness. Yeah, so it failed and um, then I turned around and now we're going to keep going and see how we go because it dropped back down to 7%, so I'm not sure what's going on. Woo, we made it with 10%. So we hypermiled 80 k's an hour until 100 k's to go when we had 13% showing on arrival. And then we caned it, did a hundred, there's just 110 downhill, and yeah, we made it, and super cool, I'm so happy. This is the lowest I've ever taken the pop star ever, to single digits, 10%, look at that. And if you go to the range assistant, you can see there, 2% climate, 98% driving, um, after the 80, we had it down to just, I think it was 18.7, like that last 100 or about 19. Um, oh, yeah, so we made it with 10% now. Oh, so good. We've only got 38 Ks left to go, but all good. We've got, we got here, now we'll find a campsite, charge, and maybe go for a swim. We made it, Twig. We made it with 10%. Woohoo! Tony, here. oh, am I the right way? I can't see. I've got Tony here from Perth, and he's just been up diving, and he he did the trick of going to Coral Bay and doing it. So I maybe could have done that too, but anyway, I got here with ten percent, so it all worked out well. Good job, Tony. I'll catch you on the road. And if to celebrate our arrival, we have a praying mantis on the charger. What a beautiful praying mantis! It's iridescent. 
he or she, I think she's just chilling there. So we got 120, and we're getting 11%. Oh, we got, we got actually got nine by the time we got to the caravan park. Booked in, and now we're going to go for a swim, and we're getting 120. I just really want to get the battery off to zero. I don't like having it zero. Charged to 50 and didn't do the rest tonight. But yeah, we made it. Oh, so good to have made it. And to see that blue Tesla there, that was cool. So I think we're going to ditch the roof rack. That's the plan. We're going to strap the tire in the back. Twig. How are we going to give the roof rack away? <laughs> Twiggy, we made it to the beach. Happy dog. Twiggy, swim. Come on. Then you go. Happiness. Happiness at the beach. After today's trials and tribulations. And there's some whales jumping out there. Humpbacks. Splashing around. Slapping their fins. Amazing. Beautiful beach. Bundegi Beach. Exmouth. But we're in a big bay and the sun sets on the other side. So no sun in the water here. So today was quite the adventure capped off by a lovely swim, made it to Exmouth after a few dramas with a broken charger, but very happy, and Twig's happy, we booked a campsite for the night, and we'll get fish and chips for dinner, and keep going tomorrow. I think I'm going to get rid of the roof rack because it's just annoying me, and if I take it off then I can go a lot faster and a lot further rather than the 380 even without the tire in there I was still slow so anyway I guess I should really do some sightseeing as well instead of driving but I'm just liking the driving so yeah but nah, but anyway Good morning, Exmouth. We had a pretty restful sleep, even though it only got to like 21 degrees at night. There's the sunset. Leaving early, came and saw. Onwards, onwards. Good night, Mounds. So we left um, <laughs> Exmouth. We charged to 99% just because we were mucking around. Um, went and took a shower while the car was on charge because the fast charger was right at the campground and cleaned up the back seat from yesterday's beach. No breakfast, feeling healthy, feeling good. Here we go, all the termite mounds. Here we go, so good, so good. Onwards and none and terra. We've got 270 k's to do it. I think 270 and uh, it said I would get there with 30%. So. Happy days, we're cruising with a bruising. Ah, at the turn off, down the Burkett Highway. What's that out there? Something's talking out there. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Can you hear that? It's an owl or something. Ooh, ooh. Karatha 463, will we make it? I think so, hopefully, hopefully. Twiggy found a cat. Roadhouse cat. Roadhouse cat. Making money. <laughs> I made sausage rolls. 
lonely pole star in the back of the car park. No shade. No shade with the pop star. This is actually quite a really nice roadhouse. Lovely snacks. Everything looks really clean and tidy. Perfect spot to charge. Hey Twig. Twig is posing for the plug share. So hot, it's probably about 30 something, 34. The um, WAEV Horizon's working here. Thank you, Horizon. And we're still getting 50 kilowatts. So we've been charging for 32 minutes and we've taken 25 kilowatt hours and we're still going 50. We are at 57%. So we'll go and sit inside and then work out how far it is to Kananara. Not oh, Kananara, thinking ahead there. Karatha. Woohoo! Ah. 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 Look at the dust! Them some big tires! Them some big tires! Alright! We charge to 90. Poor car showing, it was showing 41. Um, now it's showing 40. And we've got two hours and 55 minutes to cover 272 kilometers we'll get to Karatha at 2 50 p.m with 13 percent 90 and 380 let's see how that goes so hot for the twig and me so hot for the twig and me let's go having a great time woo -hoo, woo -hoo. here we are in Fortescue in the middle of iron ore country we just had a chat to Luke and we're checking out the new, oh look there, there he is from Australian Portable Camps. And um, we're checking out the new charger, yet to be activated. Coming online soon by the looks of it. And Twiggy's been causing all kinds of trouble, haven't you Twiggy? Yes. That's how Twig sits. She sits for photos. There's the new charger. There's the hectic baggage. Interesting looking skies. Heaps interesting skies. Some backpackers. And a pretty deserted roadhouse. A random roadside memorial to Charlie Boy. Rest in peace, Charlie Boy. Oh, this is such a dodgy. So dodge. Bloomin' hot here in Karatha. Is that where we are? Karatha? Have some water twig, it's so bloody hot. It's about 37 degrees. We're just topping up here to 80 or so and getting to Point Samson about 45 minutes away. <clears throat> so we're just gonna do a quick charge and go, go, go. Hot town, a very hot town. Oh, we made it to have a dip. We couldn't go on the main beach because no dogs, but we found a little spot here. We found the spot and we had a lovely little dip because it's so hot. <sighs> it's good to be in the ocean when it got to like 39 or something like that. And then when we pulled into Point Samson, it was 34. Nice shady spot for the campsite too. <laughs> 